Happy New Week. I'm Rick Tamblin. Here's your real fake news where we take our anger from politics and misplace it elsewhere. In New Jersey, the vote to legalize marijuana hit a stopping point in the state legislature when leaders canceled scheduled votes. There is a good-sized opposition to legal weed in New Jersey by several groups. Why? We can sum it up in one word. Snooky. After seeing the effects of alcohol on Snooky, state officials now say they cannot in good conscience make pot available to her. The art world is now shunning donors with ties to opioids. The Sackler family that owns the Purdue Pharma, which makes the popular OxyContin drug, the Sackler family has given millions to museums and institutions around the globe. But now those same beneficiaries are saying, Sackler, I hardly know her. This brings us to our weekly irony supplement. Sure, the Sacklers are responsible for opioids, but the latest statistics indicate that 96% of all artists throughout history used drugs, alcohol, and more for inspiration. I mean, if you removed all the THC from Snoop Dogg or Matthew McConaughey, what's left? Yeah. This story now begs for the bigger question, and that is, what is the first instance of opioids on record? Here at Real Fake News, we dug and dug until we found it. And hey, have you seen Opie? Where's Opie at? Oh, I'm seeing every color of the rainbow right now, Bobby. (laughs) Singer Justin Bieber is taking time off. After touring all the way through his teenage years and into his 20s, the 25-year-old entertainer says he feels disconnected and is searching for answers about happiness. His godparents, the Sacklers, say they agree. (laughs) And in entertainment news, like if that wasn't enough, former Spice Girl Mel B has revealed that back in the mid-90s, she slept with Jerry Halliwell and added that Jerry had great boobs. That's Ginger Spice and Scary Spice together in a hotbed of emotional wants and needs. And we're going to take a 13-second break to let that sink in. Michael Avenatti has been arrested on federal wire and bank fraud charges. Boy, didn't take very long for him to fall. (laughs) Lawyer was formerly working for porn actress Stormy Daniels. Which brings us to the question of how she was paying him. And we're going to take another 13-second break right there. (laughs) NASA has canceled the first ever all-female astronaut spacewalk this past week. It was determined by several aerospace engineers that the spacesuits were not slimming enough. A jersey has awarded a man in San Francisco $80 million saying the weed killer Roundup caused his cancer. Roundup was evidently defectively designed and Monsanto, you know, the company that's trying to kill us all, failed to warn of the herbicide's cancer risk. Beginning this summer, their new ad campaign starts. Roundup is the answer and you'll end up having cancer, but there won't be any weeds left in your yard. The annual list of highest paying college majors is out, and according to the latest numbers, Petroleum Engineer is the best choice if you're all about the money or you enjoy looking under things for lubricants. Yeah, these <laughs> these are the people that you want to invite to your next orgy. Uh, 183,000 by mid-career for Petroleum Engineers. Go looking for uh go looking for Vaseline, I guess. If you're not all about the money, those people go into radio. And finally, New England Patriots owner Robert Kraft has entered a not guilty plea and asked for a jury trial in his charges of soliciting a prostitute in a strip mall Asian massage parlor in Florida. According to Kraft's lawyers, he was going into that Asian massage parlor because he was studying to become a petroleum engineer. I'd like to put a happy ending on this story, but I think... He already got it. That's your happy ending for this Real Fake News for this week. I'm Rick Tamblin. Thanks for listening, because doctors say that doing this is the therapy I need to keep me out of jail. Have a big one.